Hello, I'm Susan Navarre, Executive Director at the Fitchburg Historical Society. I'm here today to tell you about an event coming up with the Fitchburg Historical Society and the Women's Caucus for Art, presented by local artist Joanne Stowell. I'm Joanne Stowell. I'm a professional artist and art instructor and a member of the Women's Caucus for Art, which is a wonderful organization for women artists or anyone interested in the arts, really. I'm a professional painter, an oil painter, but I've done a little bit of everything over the past few years. My recent artwork consists mainly of oil paintings, contemporary realistic oil paintings inspired by my daily life as well as an unfiltered view of reality. I document my own personal history through my art. And I currently live and work out of my home in Ashburnham. So can we talk a little bit more about this event coming up on October 23rd? Yes, so Sunday, October 23rd at two o'clock, we'll be hosting an event for the local community. I'll be giving a talk about my current work and how it relates to the topic, Drawing Art Histories. Following the talk, there'll be a drawing workshop led by members of the chapter. No art making experience is necessary. We simply invite attendees to bring an object or photo of personal historical significance to use with for inspiration and we will walk you through it. You can directly participate or simply observe. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm going to get up my nerve <laughs> and try to make some art too. So we have a little more time. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your work? Maybe we can see some pictures? Absolutely. So to put it simply, my work is about reality. It's my reality, but I show it with the hope that what I'm showing is relatable to a larger audience. I feel that with social media and just the overall fast pace of our lives, it becomes too easy for us to simply forget what's real. So my artwork depicts my day to day, my life as a mother and just a human being. Every painting tells a story. I attempt to capture the struggles as well as the quiet moments that often go unappreciated. Um, and you can see some of my images. I use black outlining in the majority of my work. I just love the boldness of the black paint and I feel like it helps unify each piece regardless of the series. So this piece is one of my favorites. Um, it's titled Lived In and I wanted to capture a typical day in the winter and this was actually during the height of COVID when we were using the home as a school slash office. So neatness just wasn't a concern at the time but it was comfortable and that's what I wanted to capture. Um, so this one is Artist's Daughter in the Studio. It's one of the few paintings that I include people. Mostly I paint scenes, but this was life at the time with my daughter watching me as I worked, so it seemed appropriate to turn the scene behind me into my newest painting with her included. And this one, Coming and Going, is a summary of our busy lives. Coats, backpack schedules were always coming and going. And this one, I'm not going to talk much about it. You'll have to come to my talk to hear what it's really about. But it's part of my Battle Scar series, which I'm really excited about. And I can tell you it's not an abstract painting. I'd love to keep going, but I want to save the rest <laughs> of the talk. <laughs> They're so striking. So can you say, why do you paint? Uh, what's, uh, what is it about that medium that really draws you in? Well, the process takes time, especially working with oils. Mm. Life can get so busy and painting really forces me to slow down, to not rush, to be present. And I love the process of trying to find the image that I see in my head. It's not there at first and sometimes I'm not sure how to get there, but I keep adding paint, changing things, layering, repainting, glazing, and finally it's there, it clicks and I can see the painting. And it's like a puzzle, and it challenges my problem-solving abilities every time. <laughs> it's kind of addicting. <laughs> so how about for the viewer? What, what do they find in your work, or what do you hope they'll see in your work? Mostly, I just hope that my work is relatable. I hope that someone will look at my paintings and feel a mm. connection, that they'll feel like that's life. Sometimes it's simple or chaotic and messy, and that's okay. It's real. I also hope that people will see that art doesn't have to be something big to be meaningful. Mm. Well, and I see that you put them together over a period of time and then people can look at them and experience them 
over a period of time too. Well, I can't wait to learn more. So I'm looking forward to learning more from you, talking with you more at our event coming up at the Fitchburg Historical Society, Sunday, October 23rd at 2 p.m. And uh, it's free and open to the public, done by the Fitchburg Historical Society and Women's Caucus for Art. And I'll mention to people watching that if you would like more information, the number at the Historical Society is 978-345-1157. Thank you, Joanne Stowell.